Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the F-16 showing how to use the new Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod in multi-track mode to engage multiple targets with JDAMs. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Check Master Arm on and select a steer point near your target. Go into Air to Ground mode. On the Stores page, make sure your GBU-38s are selected and power them on. Check for the ready indication. This will take a few minutes if you're on a cold start. Check that the right hard point is powered up. This gives power to the sniper pod. Bring up the targeting pod on the right MFD. Use the display management switch to soy the targeting pod. The current sensor of interest is denoted with a white outline. With target management switch right, you can select an appropriate display mode. I've got white hot IR with a narrow field of view. I know the target is roughly here, so I'm going to turn multi-track mode on. Press TMS right for an area track, and that lets me go into enhanced image processing by means of a double tap on the expand field of view button. There they are. You can adjust the image to try and get good contrast. With range less than about 25 miles, press TMS forward to get your first target into the multi-track list. Repeat the process for the other targets. The currently selected target is marked with a circle, but you do need to do a bit more for a weapons launch. Once we're in range, things are going to progress very quickly. Because we've got an area track, we can drop a bomb on the first target as soon as we're in range. Then we need to select the next target and jump to it, but we can only jump to a target if we've released our track. This means that we'll have to get another track for subsequent targets. We'll do that with a point track. I'm in range, so pickle one. Release my track, select the next one, Jump to it, point track, pickle 2. You can select the next target in the list before you release your track, but you do need to release it in order to jump. Pickle 3. Main thing to remember is that you need a small cross on the thing that you want to blow up, and then you can pickle. We're going to turn and burn, and then we can watch the impacts on the sniper pod. The final impact will be 8 seconds. There's the first impact. And the other three. Good effect on all targets. I've been Dan, and you've been watching DCS and 3LS from Got Space Game. It's good to be back. I've been away for a while as I've started a new job and it's been pretty intense. I'm not done making these videos though, so please subscribe for more 3-minute tutorials, all of your favourite modules.